six people have been killed and 64 others are missing after a boat capsized in the eastern DRC's Lake Kivu early on Monday, local authorities have said. Some 150 passengers were aboard the motorized boat traveling from a village on Ijwi Island, the eastern city of Goma, and 80 of them survived. Matthew Alimasi Malumbi, the transport minister for South Kivu province, confirmed the incident. The minister said many of the passengers were not on the manifest. Investigations have been launched. The deadly boat accidents are common in waters of Congo, where vessels are frequently loaded well beyond their capacity. In January, at least 72 people died when a boat they were traveling in towards neighboring Congo capsized. Later in mid-February, about eight people were killed after a ferry and a motorized canoe collided on Lake Kivu. Meanwhile, in October, more than 40 people were reported dead when their boats capsized in the Congo River. Well, let's now cross over to Chris Ochamringa. He's joining us live from Kinshasa. Chris, good to see you there. What's the latest at this hour on this boat accident? Well, Beatrice, the authorities in South Kivu province have deployed search and rescue teams to find some of the missing people. We have been reliably informed that there are 64 people who are missing and six others who died. Uh, there were three women and three children. Their bodies have been recovered. I spoke to a journalist in that area about 30 minutes ago and he said that uh, the rescue teams haven't yet found some of the missing people, so the operation is ongoing. And there's a local police officer in that area who said that uh, the boat encountered bad weather. There were very strong winds that caused it to capsize, although some of the eyewitnesses in that area are saying that uh, that boat was overloaded with passengers and cargo and uh, this is something that you know has been happening every year in the DRC because the country has a very poor road network so uh, many people use boats to travel to different parts of the country to engage in trade and visit their relatives and loved ones. Beatrice? Well Chris you know water transport is essential for the DRC but uh, shipwrecks are common there. What is being done to reduce the accidents on the country's lakes and rivers? Well, the government has a number of navigational laws that are supposed to ensure the safety of passengers when they're traveling on these rivers. But the problem is that they are not being enforced uh, the way they should be. Uh, this country has a, a problem of corruption, which is very widespread. And there have been many reports uh, by authorities about some of the people in these uh, uh, the harbors, the people who are supposed to ensure that the boats are not overloaded and that uh, passengers have, you know, life jackets. They have, they have been getting bribes and letting people, you know, get on the boats. And that is the real problem. In, two, in 2020, there was another accident on Lake Kivu and President Felix Chisekedi visited that area and said that he will do everything within his power to ensure that these kind of tragedies do not happen in the DRC. He ordered the authorities to ensure that all boat owners buy life jackets for all the passengers and ensure that the boats are not overloaded with passengers and cargo. But these accidents have continued happening because the authorities in those areas have not been enforcing the laws that uh, they're supposed to do. So many people, like this latest incident, many people are calling on the government to ensure safety standards to prevent these kind of accidents from happening in the DRC.